all the way to Jung Behed now. And that's the uh, airbase where I started my flying career in the Air Force. It's not an airbase longer for the Air, Air Force, but it's, a, it's an airport and there's a flying club and TFOS Flight Academy and Greybird Flight Academy. So the airport is still used. Uh, I have been flying uh, the old Saab Safir at this place in the Aero Club. I had three flights and you can uh, check the videos on my channel. Unfortunately, the old Saab Safir was hit from behind on ground by another plane. Uh, the plane behind was started with uh, quite a bit of thrust and also the parking brakes was not set. So it was badly damaged. Well, we'll take a look at the old one right now and then check a new old one that has arrived. I've been told that it's really beautiful with the Swedish Air Force markings. It's yellow and uh, it looks really good. And I'm very curious to have a look at it. I have the airport straight ahead of me. Söder Åsen behind. Beautiful nature. I will take a drive there some other day. So this will be interesting. The plane behind was uh, very well insured. So now it had, has been sorted out and they have found a new old one, which is not really complete and needs some work. But I have been told that it's in very good condition. It has Swedish Air Force marking and it's yellow and I'm very curious on it, about it. Let's check it out. Here's the damaged Safir. Uh, you see this one? The propeller hit the plane from behind. This is not a problem. Uh, can be replaced and also this one. But you see this structure that's a problem because it has got damage deeper in the structure on this plane and you see here it's pretty bad damaged uh, wings are off here's the new old one with the Swedish Air Force markings a useful usable engine New prop. It has also got new paint and wings. Undamaged, of course. It's not completely fixed yet. And it's missing a radio, a useful radio. But you see here, it will be fixed and we can fly it. It's a B version and it has a serial number 50037. It's the number 37 in the row of Saab Saphirs. And I can smell the original Saab Saphirs smell. It smells like a Saphir. Beautiful. Good shape actually, especially paint from outside. So now we have two Saphirs, one damaged from behind and one without damage, but needing some work. The B version and it has got a seat behind the right pilot too. No seat, but it can be installed.
one reason I like this plane so much is because of the sound from the engine. It's a six cylinder, not a four cylinder. And it so sounds just awesome. I can't afford to fly a Spitfire or a Mustang, but I can afford to fly this one. And it, it's from the same age. It's from, the construction is from 1945. I think this was maybe built in 53, 54 or something. It's one of the earliest Saphirs with the Lycoming six cylinder boxer. I certainly look forward to flight. Now we have to put some work on it, and then I promise you I will show some, make some videos from it again. Fin Volvo. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that was some really some good news. Going to fly the Saab Saphir again. The buildings are just the same as when I started in the Air Force in 1980, and I spent one year at the second floor of this building and the administration building was straight ahead of, of me right now yeah so i have some memories from here the funny story that uh, one friend of mine if we passed the entrance to the airbase and he, he was making fun of the guards here in this building. He said, can I have a sausage and a, with bread, please, uh, with ketchup? And uh, they, they didn't think it was funny, but <laughs> we, we thought it was very, very funny. Then he, he didn't get it, of course. <laughs> and uh, later <laughs> he, he called them on the phone. And he said, where is my sauce, sausage with, with bread? <laughs> I haven't got it yet. Yeah, we thought it was incredibly funny. We were, of course, a little bit afraid that we were going to be sacked and all that. And it was fun that someone else <laughs> did dare to make that joke. Yeah, memories.